What's up guys, it's Firearms Long Island, New York here. In this video, I'm going to be showing off 22 different variants of electromechanical firearm horns. Each one of these 22 electromechanical horns is different in one way, and I'm going to be showing you why. I'm also going to be comparing some of these alarms and the differences of each of them. Let's get to the video. Let's start off the video with the Wheelock 7002-24. This right here is an older model of the 7002-24 from 1978. These horn strobes were manufactured from 1976 to 1985 with the 7002T-24 series replacing them. Here's the back of it. As you can see, Unlike many modern alarms, this alarm uses two pigtail wires, a positive wire which is the red and a negative wire which is the black. And here's the label. It says series 7002 and it's 18 to 31.2 volts DC. Let's get to the next alarm. The next alarm I'm going to be showing off is my Wheelock 7002T-24. This right here Replaced the 7002-24 series. Basically a newer model. This one right here has a closed-in grill except for the outer corners. And these were manufactured from 1985 to 1994. The reason why these were discontinued is because they did not meet with the ADA compliancy at all. Let's show the back. Unlike the 7002-24, this one has screw terminals where you can place your wires in. And this was manufactured in 1992. The label is up here instead of on the thing. Let's get to the next alarm. The next alarm coming up that I'm going to be showing is my Feral Signal 450D Vibratone Horn Strobe. This is an older combo that they used back in the 1980s where they would take a strobe such as a VALS strobe and put it on a horn and sometimes they would flush mount them like this with a flush mount plate. Here's the back of it. As you can see it's a four wire strobe connected to a four wire horn and here's and here's the label of both. It's a 450D horn with the VALS strobe. Let's get to the next device. The next alarm I'm going to be showing off is my Simplex 2901-9806 horn with a dual projector attachment attached to it. It's very similar to this horn but the difference is it just has a dual projector attachment. And this is what they used back in the 1980s before electronic horn strobes came out. Here's the label of the horn. And here's the date. This one was manufactured June 3rd, 1980. And like the 7002-24 and a lot of the older electromechanical horns, they used pigtail wires. Let's get to the next alarm. The next alarm I'm going to be showing off is my Benjamin Electric Industrial Signal. It may look like a 4030 to you, but or fireworm, but this is actually a Thomas Industries Incorporated NA546 115 volt AC industrial signal horn. This this I believe was manufactured somewhere in the late 50s, early 1960s. And I've seen Alex the Rail Fanning Redneck with this horn. Not much to say about that one. It's Instead, it was an industrial signal. Let's get to the next alarm. Here's one of my personal favorite horns. It's an IBM 4030-1B 12-volt AC horn. This is an older fireworm horn that I believe was either from the late 40s or early 1950s. This was a horn that was used in the SDX's video, IBM 4030-1B, and I'm very glad I own this horn. And it's a pretty nice piece of the 
Fireworm community to own, too. Let's get back to the overview. It has two brown wires, and here's the tag. It's an International Business Machines Corp. 43-1B. It's a 12-volt AC horn. Let's get to the next alarm. The next alarms I'm going to be showing off are my Simplex 4040 and my Elenco Incorporated 350 horns. These two horns are very similar in some ways and different in other ways. As you can see, the backs look incredibly similar. But the differences are, this right here is a 6 volt AC horn, and this right here is a 24 volt AC horn. These two horns are relabeled Federal Signal 350 horns as well. And these are older horns from the 1960s as well. This one I got brand new in a box too. Let's get to the next alarm. The next alarms I'm going to be showing off are my Federal Signal 450 and my Standard Electric Time 450. These horns are very similar in some ways and different in others like the 4040 and the 350. You can see the differences are these two pieces. This one on the four, standard 450 is uh, black and the one on the Federal Signal 450 is red. And the diaphragms are slightly different. This is an older version of the Federal Signal 450 or Stare Electro Time 450. This one's a first generation 450. And this one right here is a second generation 450. And both of these are non-polarized horns, meaning they're 24 volts DC and they have two black wires. And, neat, and Stare Electro Time 450 was used with the uh, first generation Stare Electric Time light plates, which I'll show you a picture of the first generation Stare Electric Time light plate in a minute. The next alarms I'm going to be showing off are my Simplex 4050, my Simplex 4051, and my Faraday 5430 horns. They may look very similar at first glance, but there are some differences to these horns. This one right here is a 12 volt AC 4050, a relabeled Faraday 5410. Right here is a Simplex 4051. This is 24 volts DC and this is a polarized version with a red wire and a black wire. This one right here is a relabeled Faraday 5640. And right over here is a Faraday 5430. Unlike the 4051, this one is a non-polarized 24 volt DC horn. And about the 4051 and the 4050, these were commonly used with the Simplex 405080 light plate or the 405082 light plate back in the 1970s. I'll show you a picture of a 4051 plus 405080 combo in a minute. The next alarm I'm going to be showing off is my Faraday 7410 horn. This is a very rare horn, and it's very unique in some ways. You can see it has a completely flat diaphragm, and also it has an extremely small electromagnet too. Probably the reason why it's not that loud. And here's the label of it. It's a 7410 and it's 120 volts AC. I only know of one other collector who has this horn. Fahrenheit 4051 has one of these. I also got this horn brand new in a box too. Let's get to the next alarm. The next alarms I'm going to be showing off are these two different Simplex 2901 9806 horns. The difference between these, this one right here is an older model of this. This is a B2 horn, and this one right here is a B4 horn. They look very similar on the backs. 
But the only differences are the grills. These were commonly used with the 2903 series strobe and light plates as well. And they were mounted on like this. Or with the B4 like that. And these were used in the 1980s too. Let's get to the next alarm. The next alarms I'm going to be showing off are the, are the Simplex 2901-9833 horn. The 2901-9838. The 2901-9549 and a 4903-9221. These are new. These are newer electromechanical horns that were used in the late 80s and early 90s, and this one right here was used in the mid to late 90s. As you can see, these two look very very similar, as they're the exact same mechanism. It says minimum SBL at 10 feet 87 dB on both of these, the 9833 and the 9838. But this one is a little bit different. This one right here has pigtail wires and a ground wire, which is a green one, as it's 120 volts AC. Like, I'm going to get you a closer look at this one. This one right here is from the mid-90s. And I'm going to get you a look at this one. This one right here is slightly different from and very similar to the 9838 mechanism. Except for the PC board piece right here. These two horns were also commonly used with the 2903 light plate. Like that. And with the 9838, like that. Let's get to the next alarm. The next alarm that I'm going to be showing off is my Standard Electric Time SEU-4-7. You think I'm kidding? Look at the tag. It's a Standard Electric Time Division of Johnson Service Company horn. As you can see, it says SEU-4-7. And this one is a polarized horn too. It has a red wire and a black wire. It also is a rebranded Wheelock 34-24 as well. As you can see, they're the exact same horn. It also looks similar to the 7002T as well. These horns were commonly used with the second generation Stair Electric Time light plates which I actually have one in my collection. Here's how they would be mounted normally, like this. I'm going to show you a picture of what my second generation Stair Electric Time light plate would look like if, with an original, with the original lens and incandescent bulbs. The last and final device that I'm going to be showing off tonight is my Faraday 5940. This horn is an early variant of the uh, Simplex 2901-9833 or Faraday 6020 horn. And here's the back of it. Sometimes these horns were used with flush mount grills such as this, this one. Mine came with this grill when I first got it. And I'm going to compare it to the 9833. You can see they're very, very similar. But except this one has screw terminals. And this one has pigtail wires. And this one is polarized. One red wire, one black wire. Let's show the fronts and the backs of each of the devices. Let's show the fronts of these devices. And a closer look at them.
Let's get a closer look at the backs. Let's show the backs of these devices and get a closer look at the backs. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. Go follow my Instagram at Firearms of Long Island, New York. Have a nice day, and I'll see you soon.